Welcome to a practice SAT math question from the Algebra and Functions section. If x does not equal 2y, then we want to find the sum of these two rational expressions. We're told x does not equal 2y because if it did, we'd have zeros in the denominator, meaning division by zero, which would make this undefined. Now there are a couple ways to approach this, but I think it's going to be helpful if we rewrite each fraction so that the x terms are first and the y terms are second meaning for this first fraction, we'll leave the numerator the same. We have x minus 2y divided by the quantity negative x plus 2y. Notice how we change the order, but the x is still negative and the 2y is still positive. And then for the second fraction, we'll change the order of the numerator, so we'll have negative x plus 2y and our denominator is going to stay the same, x minus 2y. Now if we take a look at our denominators, notice how they look almost the same, but they're actually opposites. This is a negative x, this is a positive x, this is a positive 2y, and this is a negative 2y. Which means if we were to multiply this denominator by negative 1, we would have our common denominator, which we need in order to add fractions. But if we multiply the denominator by negative 1, we also have to multiply the numerator by negative one. So we're going to multiply this first fraction by negative one over negative one. So again, we'll multiply this first fraction by negative one over negative one. When we do this, looking at the numerator, we would have negative x plus two y and the denominator would be positive x minus 2y, which now notice gives us our common denominator, which we need in order to add these fractions. So to add these two fractions, the denominator is going to stay the same, and we'll add the numerators. So negative x plus negative x is negative 2x, and 2y plus 2y is 4y, so plus 4y. But now notice how we can simplify this. We'll start by factoring the numerator. Notice how these two terms have a common factor of two, but let's go ahead and factor out negative two. So we have negative two times the quantity positive x minus 2y. Notice once we have this factored, we have a common factor of x minus 2y in the numerator and denominator, which would simplify to one, leaving us with a sum of negative two. So our answer is E, negative two. Let's also take a look at a second method for finding this sum. Instead of multiplying this first fraction by negative one over negative one, let's say we factor out negative one instead. If we factor out negative one from this denominator, the numerator would stay the same, so we'd have x minus 2y, and we'll factor out negative one, which is going to change the sign of these two terms, so we'll have positive x minus 2y, and then for the second fraction, we'll factor out negative one from the numerator, so we'd have negative one times the quantity positive x minus 2y, and our denominator stays x minus 2y. Notice in this form, each fraction simplifies. To help us recognize how this is going to simplify, it might be helpful to put a one here and a one here, which of course would not change anything since we're multiplying by positive one. But notice how for this first fraction, we have the quantity x minus two over the quantity x minus two, which simplifies to one, and the same in the second fraction. So for the first fraction, we're left with positive one divided by negative one, which is negative one, plus the second fraction, we have negative one divided by positive one, which is also negative one, giving us a sum of negative two. So whichever method we use, the sum is negative two. I hope you found this helpful.